Why are these sticking out so far? It's like I have wings. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Killer McKnight, accompanied by Queen Taylor. And we're going to be taking a look at Angelita Jordan, Bohemian Rhapsody at Americans Got Talent, The Champions. This was highly requested after we we done I Put a Spell on You, which she was nine years old at that time, and she blew us away. And we were thinking about going back to her seven-year-old um, performance. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen is one of Taylor's favorite songs, and that's really why. So let's give it a go. Since I was very little, I just wanted to sing for Simon. I really want to impress him. That would be so amazing. And this is the biggest opportunity of my life. I really hope to win the show. You won once, right? Yeah. You think you can? I hope so. Oh! This I think she was on Norway's Got Talent. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the champions won. So this is literally people that have won the show before coming back competing against each other? Is that what that means? I don't know if it's... So correct me if I'm wrong. You know how they have like Norway's Got Talent, mm -hmm. British's Got Talent. I wonder if it's like champions from all of those shows and then they bring them to AGT. Okay. I don't know. So is this her, this must be her first time on America's Got Talent. Then. Maybe in front yeah, of Simon. Yeah, because she yeah. said she was wanted to perform in front of Simon and I think he's been doing it forever. Okay. Yeah. I'm just curious. Okay. That's. I feel more prepared now. I don't that's know why. crazy to me that that's like one of her biggest goals in life it, at this point in time is to sing in front of Simon Cowell. I mean, he's hard to impress. I get it. He's hard You're to impress. You're a really good singer if you can impress Simon. All right, let's go. <laughs> Jordan, go out there and show Simon what you got. All right. No pressure. I know. She knows she's good, though. No shoes. She's barefoot. <laughs> Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent oh, okay. in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years oh, old. Oh, baby. So you oh, are now chills. 13. And 13, yes. You are 13. <laughs> yeah. I've waited 10 years to sing for Simon, and I'm oh. finally... <laughs> So wow. us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight. No. <laughs> what is it? What is no, it? How he? He's just amazing and he's a legend. <laughs> he is. He's, he's like, keep going. <laughs> well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Can you just come up to the mic like you're going to be performing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to be performing? Mm hmm. That's weird. Literally already. All over my body. <laughs> my time has come. she burst down my spine. Mine too. Body's aching all the time. Oh. Everybody. I've got to go. Gotta leave. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing 
I'm just drunk. Drunk. Wow. Wow. Heidi. Insane. She definitely should. I feel like I am witnessing the birth of something really special, a star, and as they would say in Norway, Jai Elskadai. Oh, thank you. I love you too. And I think this moment, this time on stage, this song, this performance is going to change your life and your career forever. I believe that. Yeah. Like I need Simon to say that. Everything <laughs> about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. I'm Seriously, nervous. this was an amazing performance. Oh, no! no! Guys, was it a golden buzzer winner? Oh. I want more. So what did you think of that? I had chills the entire time. I did time. too. The entire time. Because we're thinking about Queen Bohemian Rhapsody and we we always revert back to Queen's version, right? So we're thinking it's going to be like a rock. and Yeah. She, you know what's so impressive is I said this when we listened to I Put a Spell on You and her vocal techniques and like how is she going to progress as she gets older, you know, as mm -hmm. her voice more matures and she develops, you know, herself, right? And it's in full freaking glory in this performance. Yeah, I completely agree. She absolutely slayed that. I, you know, as he said, like, that's one of my favorite songs. I love it so much. It's just such a great song. I don't tend to like songs when they're done like if they're done a little bit differently than the original it's okay when they're so different i usually don't like them i'm just like especially when the the original version's as good Iconic. like yeah when it's just so phenomenal and it's done so differently i'm just like why would you do that you know like yeah make it your own but like i also didn't like it this i cannot say that this version was so different so beautiful so unique and for someone to take a song like that and make it so unique and she at such a young age mm -hmm. develop kind of like this uniqueness to her yeah. and her own signature style like it kind of really takes me back to like old you know like listening to frank sinatra and you know old bands like that like yeah. the rat pack and stuff and i feel like she she almost reminds me of like a young like janice joplin she's yeah. just she's so talented and i really genuinely don't believe anybody else could have done this made this version like this and i definitely wouldn't have liked it like i 100,000% think like I genuinely feel that way. I don't think anybody else could have pulled it off. And like Simon said, all credit to Simon. Like he called it out for what it is. And he was like, you know, her arrangement of the song and the way she executed it, it was all her. Yes. It was all her. This Beautiful. is her song at this point. And it was incredible. Honestly, like what a we can get into technicalities like and other artists, but like, man, she has her own voice mm -hmm. and it is incredible and unique. And it's just something I think everyone should listen to, like listen to this Bohemian Rhapsody performance because it is yeah. something you've never heard before. Let me tell you, put it to you that way. Yeah, I didn't really want to jump from, you know, nine to 13. I wanted to kind of like work our way up a little bit more just to see the progression over the years because you know nine is such a young age and a lot can change from nine to 13 but i'm really glad we listened to this one because yeah that was breathtaking and you know what i love about angelina is her deeper tones mm -hmm. like when she puts bass to it and adds you know when she was nine 
she was adding rumble to make it deeper. Mm -hmm. And it's a technique, but she's doing it naturally now. Yeah. And it's like such her thing, man. Like it is so good. But anyways, let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Uh, it will definitely help us out. And be sure to subscribe for some more. Leave down in the comments what you guys think we should cover next. I think we're going back to Norway. Like, I think we're doing the seven, you know, when she was seven years old. We're going to jump around. <laughs> yeah, we're going to jump around. I don't like doing America's Got Talent stuff just because there's so many problems with YouTube with them. Yeah. You know. You gotta think AGT is like watching a movie. You got all those um, copyright issues and things like that. So I'm nervous about it, but we'll we'll give it a go. We'll try it. Anyways, you guys, that's our time. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.